an interesting program that we are going to learn about uh, that is put on by Caster Concepts Engineering out of Albion. And uh, joining us now is Elmer Lee, head of engineering and the lead mentor for the company's robotics work at the uh, Concord High School. Elmer, good morning. Good morning. Thanks again. Great to have you on. So uh, this is something that I'm kind of familiar with. Um, you might have noticed, uh, dear listener, that lots and lots of high schools are now having robotics programs. Yep. My uh, my younger brother went to Lakeview High School, and uh, he was part of the robotics team, ended up being the captain. And uh, there's a lot of competition in there, just like any other sport. Uh, so what do they do, Elmer, at Concord High School uh, with the robotics program? So we compete in the first robotics um, program. So and Michigan is one of the um, top states for this program. Okay. So we basically are given a task a contest in January. And in six weeks, we got to build a robot. And we start competing in um, mid-February, all the way up until April, where Worlds happens in, in, De in Detroit. Oh, wow. Uh, half of the world goes to Detroit to compete, and it's, it's a phenomenal event. Uh, how well does uh, Concord High School do? Uh, we've been doing pretty good. Uh, so I started coaching uh, about four years ago. Uh, we were ranked about 300th in the state, and this season I think we were about 50th in the state. That's moving on up. That is very good, yeah. So when you say build a robot in a few weeks, that seems kind of wild to those of us who aren't aware of how this works. Um, what is the process of building a robot? Do you have to like build it from scratch? It is absolutely from scratch. So the rules of the contest is you can't pre-build any of your components. You can't pre-engineer any of your components. Uh, and so you basically don't know anything about this contest. And every year this, this contest completely changes. Oh, so you can't carry over last year's robot to well, help you out. There is certain built-in knowledge. Like, you know, we know how to control motors. We know how mm -hmm. to control and program our controllers. Um, but everything else is built from scratch. Man, that is really fantastic. And I've seen some of the videos from these. Like I said, my brother did it. And they are really elaborate setups. Like there will be like a team of robots and you have to like carry a ball to some point or you yeah. have to score points by hitting hitting targets with a cannon. Yeah, and those it's, are awesome. Buddy. It, yeah. it is really cool. And it's what's what I think is awesome about this competitive robotics stuff is it gives kids to be really gives gives them the chance to be really really creative you know i mean there's only one way to play basketball um <laughs> there's right. a, there's a million different ways to solve the problems presented in these competitions yeah yeah but the the, the the crux of the problems are always very similar building blocks so we teach mm -hmm. teach these kids cad we teach them um computer aid design mm -hmm. we teach them programming electronics and so if you know those building blocks just like if you know how to dribble a ball um, you can play this game, and so yeah. that's what that's what that's our goal. So yeah, basically, you know, you, the way that you would build a robot is what you you first you get the task, then there's I'm assuming a lot of brainstorming, there's figuring about, out the best way to solve it. Yeah, we get about uh, we we give ourselves about two days worth of brainstorming. Okay, uh, and then we get into get into CAD. Uh huh, and start designing it, and then it's all up. To all I'm sure there's lots of hiccups along the way, like oh, this uh, wheel we designed is. It sucks, so oh, we need a new wheel. <laughs> yes, no. I know that uh, you, you can like be working on the robot up until the day of the competition, right? Like, uh, uh, well, the, so there is what, what in the past there's been something called bag day. So okay. every team in the world has to put their robot into a bag and stop working on it on a specific day. Okay. Uh, they actually got rid of that recently. So this competition coming uh, in 20, uh, 2020 uh, uh, is going to be bagless. Oh. Which... Which I'm looking forward to because I hated that role. Yeah, well, that's that's interesting because it could be like you show up the day of, you see some of your competitors and think, hmm, they're, they all look weak to this. And Ad so you could make some quick adjustments. Yep, and that's the name of the game is, is adapt. Adapt yeah. or die. And uh, I'm sure that uh, these are all skills that will lend well into a career related to robotics. We're speaking with Elmer Lee from Caster Concepts Engineering. This wonderful program Caster Concepts has to give high school students a chance to uh, get into it, shall we, shall we say, get into the jobs of uh, working at an engineering company. And uh, one of the ways that you guys do that is through uh, an internship program. Yep. It's paid internship program, Absolutely. which is something I always appreciate. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see people paid for their labor. Uh, so, Elmer, how, uh, how are these kids that you take on in your internship selected? 
Um, so it's it's through uh, my involvement with the high school. So when I mentor, I, I get to know these kids very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, and so I understand their skill sets. I uh, understand what, the, what they're excelling in. And so I, I get to choose three or four of the top students from the team and offer them internships during the summer. And this gives them a chance, uh, especially, you know, some kids... Well, if, if you're in the robotics club, you're probably interested in engineering and CAD and all that stuff. But uh, you, you, want, you, you can probably figure out which ones real quickly are interested in a further career of that, uh, of that, in that field. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I would say that of the 20, 25 kids that we have at Concord, um, uh, maybe half of them are, are, are interested in engineering. The other half are just interested in being part of a great team. Mm -hmm. um, so whenever these uh, six kids are brought on for the internship, uh, what do they do at Caster Concepts? So they do different um, things that they've learned uh, during the season. So they do some CAD work for us, mm -hmm. uh, drawing parts, uh, building test, uh, designing test, uh, test devices. Um, they also do lots of programming and wiring for us. Um, so we, uh, we build heavy duty industrial casters, things that move industrial equipment around and things that move um, parts from point A to point B mm -hmm. and that's what we that's what this contest at in first um, robotics teaches is how to pick up parts how to move parts uh, and so they're helping us to build products for for our customers you know and I I just uh, just came to me but you know if someone is taught engineering from a competitive mindset or from a contest mindset it might give them a, a kind of a maybe different problem-solving perspective than someone who maybe has has own has only gotten a degree, you know what I mean, in engineering. It certainly makes them very applied. So it's yes. not a theoretical um, subject anymore. So they know that they know how things can go wrong, mm -hmm. and they understand how to deal with problems when when you just uh, uh, something hits you in the face, and then, yeah. and you just have to deal with it, right? Yeah. So um, they learn all of that during this contest and during our internship program. And I have to say, uh, what's great about something like a summer internship is. Uh, like uh, my brother, you know, he was in the robotics program at Lakeview, and he actually went through something similar with a, a company out here at Fort Custer. And what he found in his summer internship is wasn't for him. And, okay. <laughs> you know, in some ways, uh, that's good because he learned, OK, I've done the work in, you know, real life mm -hmm. and it's not for me. Yeah. And I think that's a, a good opportunity as well. I mean, about how many of these kids who go through your internship program actually end up uh getting a career in that field or going to college for that? Uh, so we've been doing internships for about three years. And so mm -hmm. we, we've we only had uh, one or two kids go into college. None of them have graduated yet. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, the two or three that I've had as interns are currently uh, doing degrees at uh, Michigan Tech, at Jackson College, uh, hoping to get, get to places like um, um, University of Michigan uh, or um, Yes. Western Michigan, Western right. Michigan yes, absolutely. And so they're hoping to do engineering degrees um, and graduate. And we're hoping that we are strong enough that we allow them to stay in our community mm -hmm. and work in that community. Yeah, that's that's another great thing about a program like this for the companies. Uh, if you have someone who uh, is familiar with Castor through the work they did at the high did at the high school, you know, they were your, your mentor at the, at the robotics team, for right. example, then, then you go to a summer internship. Uh, that's going to be top of your mind whenever you're out of college absolutely. looking for someone uh, to hire you. This is our best recruiting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's absolutely. it's a, it's a great way to uh, retain that talent. Uh, this is an investment really, when you think about it. Absolutely. And that's how I, I've convinced my, uh, my boss uh, <laughs> to, to fund this because he sees this as a long growth plan for our company and in our community. All right. Um, how much, I'm not familiar with uh, STEM degrees. I've never ha gotten one. Okay. <laughs> this is not a very engineering heavy field, at least from my perspective. We have an engineer to handle all the electronic stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, is, it, is it like a regular degree, like a four-year degree? It is a four-year degree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you spend the first couple of years learning your basic math sciences. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then you spend the last two years of the four degree doing applied stuff, so doing labs, doing design work, and that's really where where you see people shine. Okay. Uh, it becomes less, much less theoretical, far more hands on. Mm -hmm. That's why I fell in love with manufacturing. It's yeah. Because I can start using my hands, building things, uh, getting things out onto the floor, and and see if they work. I bet I guarantee you that if you were to chuck a box of Legos into <laughs> into your offices, yes. you'd have a ton of interesting stuff by the end of the day. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
Speaking with Elmer Lee from Caster Concepts Engineering, they've got this uh, really cool program where they uh, mentor kids at the Concord High School um, and get them familiar with robotics. And then you can uh, bring on some of them for summer interns. But, you know, and I, I, I spoke to you during the break. I said, that's a little, uh, you know, East Albion and Eastward focused. Um, but there's a plan to, to bring, bring this uh, kind of mentorship yep. uh, way beyond the scope of that. And it's called the Innovation Hub. Uh, Elmer, what's the Innovation Hub? Sure. So, uh, so Castro Concepts, uh, bottom building in Albion, it's uh, located at 200 uh, East uh, Center Street. Street. Uh, it used to be a Masonic temple. Uh, and then a few years ago, it was a dress shop. Uh, we're turning it into basically a robotics training hub. All so right. we're, we're inviting all the all the teams, uh, all the students in the area from Battle Creek to um, to Jackson, to to come and train with us. To to right now, I've got six interns at Castro Concepts. This this it, it, we call it Innovate Albion. This hub will let us put thirty in, uh, interns into that hub, and they can wow. spend the entire summer developing, designing robotics technology, working to hone their skills, and really make make their um, their skill sets uh, job applicable. So when they graduate high school, they'll have people clamoring to hire them. Man, that sounds really cool. Are we looking to have this working this summer, or is it like a next summer type? Uh, we are in. Uh, we're in the mode to, to be open this summer. So all right. Actually, this uh, this week we are planning to uh, give free tutorials on uh, SolidWorks, which is a CAD program mm -hmm. uh, at the hub. So oh, wow! If there are people interested in joining us this week, uh, I. Uh, give uh, I guess to reach out how, how would they reach out um, they can always email at uh, innovatealbion dot at gmail dot com okay. if they want to attend or uh, just uh, look us up yeah innovatealbion at gmail dot com or just uh, I'm sure if you Google Innovate Albion or Caster Concepts you'll find your way to where you need to go yeah and that sounds like a, re a really cool way to, to to bring kids together during the summer especially because um, you know, not a lot of stuff happens. Kids lose, you know, gray matter yeah. and they start. <laughs> I that. Yeah. So, uh, those kids who, uh, were in the robotics program at school and they're looking to scratch that itch, uh, this innovate Albion hub, uh, seems like a really great way to do it. Um, so I guess that, that just about wraps it up. Elmer, is there anything else you'd like to let people know about? Now, I think if, if everyone is, if anyone's interested in robotics, uh, reach out to your high school. They probably have a first team because it's it's pretty huge in Michigan. Yeah, it is. That's something I learned. Uh, high, every high school really does have one. You may not realize it. Yeah. But they're there and they're doing a lot of really cool stuff. And it is, I, in my opinion, uh, not to be biased, in my opinion, it is uh, probably the most uh, effective competitive sport in terms of career you know, career training, looking, yeah. career training, career looking forward. I mean, every everyone likes basketball and football, but less than one percent of any of them even move on to the next level. Right. So, you know, I I support high school sports, but if we're looking at, you know, career opportunities, right. robotics really is is it, the one to go for. It, it, our tagline is it's 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 a sport where everyone can go pro, right? Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely true. All right, that's a that's a nice place to end it, Elmer. Thank you so much for Thanks. coming in, telling us about this wonderful program. Yeah. Elmer Lee from Caster Concepts Engineering in Albion. Uh, look up innovatealbion dot or innovatealbion at gmail dot com uh, if you're interested in that hub. Really cool stuff.